It's too early. Alright guys, it's like 6 o'clock in the morning and we are headed two and a half hours the opposite direction of our vacation so Doug can get his new pistol. And he's been looking for it for a long time so he's really excited and we left as early as we could to get there as soon as the gun place opened so he can get his gun. But I'm freaking so tired and not a morning person so yeah, see you guys on the road. drove two and a half hours only to have his gun purchase delayed by the FBD, FBI because they're so swamped right now with recent happenings in the world so cool two and a half hour drive for nothing you know, had to fill out the paperwork <laughs> yeah but geez. I had to do it had to have my signature suck on. now back home to grab our stuff put our dogs to the babysitter and go on vacation significantly later in the day <laughs> we saw his dad saw my dad paid our mortgage payment I sent out a vape bundle prize for my patreon and so now we're finally on the road and we got about four hours to go So we have arrived at this resort. Now this resort we got through the RCI program, which is like a points exchange program. And so it was only $340 to stay here for seven nights, eight days, seven nights. Um, and we got, we didn't have to use any of our points because it was like a reward for signing up when we signed up for the World Mark Timeshare in San Diego. No smoking and the room is nice I mean for $340 for a whole week like it's not bad but um Wyndham is already so much better they don't have washer and dryers in the room it's a dollar 75 to wash and a dollar 75 to dry in the the floor below us and we have to share a balcony that kind of sucks but I wanted to give you guys a quick room tour so this is obviously the door to go outside and when you first walk in here there's a little closet oh geez it's not a little closet at all and uh, i'll turn the camera around so you guys can see the rest of the place so that's that giant closet got some meals over here so you walk in and everything's kind of just open a little there's the bathroom doug is pooping and then we walk in here 
here is our one large bedroom and another downside queen size bed Wyndham's world mark have king size big closet which is good because we're gonna be here for a whole week so i need to put all of my clothes in there um no tv that sucks like shouldn't there be a tv there Wyndham had world mark has tvs but this is cool and i don't really know how to show you guys i'm gonna try to turn the flash on so this is like blurry as heck what is going on um a little skylight sitting box right in front of our bed so there's like these little stairs to nowhere but this skylight which is, is pretty cool I and mean, we can like roll it open a little bit i think and then a big old mirror but yeah so that's our bedroom i'm so disappointed about the queen size bed and then see they could have made this living room smaller to give more room for the bed i think because like what is all this open space really but the couch pulls out into a queen bed anyways. At least there's a TV in the front room. So this is the front room and the balcony's out there. We'll go there in a second. And then here's a little dining area and the miniature kitchen. Now, also another reason World Mark is better. Their kitchen is bigger. It's like a full size. This is like a mini fridge, mini stove, mini dishwasher. But anyways, not, I mean, like not bad, just, I'm so glad our time, our actual timeshare resorts are better. This was just, this is just part of the exchange program. So let's check out the balcony. Cause I'm gonna be really upset if our neighbors can like walk over here. And yeah. They can walk right over to our window. You guys can't see anything. This is a big balcony. That sucks. It doesn't, you can't see, man, it's dark. It doesn't look like anyone's in there. I don't know. It's a big balcony. Let me try to turn the light on. I guess you can kind of see it. Oh my God, we can get on the roof. Oh shit, we can get on the roof. Why am I 12 all of a sudden? I just want to get on the roof. But yeah, what a big balcony. And we're overlooking, I'll show you guys in the morning, the golf course. So we've been reading the rules of this resort and what's the paper say about vaping? Oh, there's no smoking or vaping in the room, which whatever, because they can understandable, but all the rooms have balconies and there is no smoking or vaping on the balconies or within 25 feet of a door so that's pretty stupid to not be able to smoke or vape on the balcony but they include they include um ashtrays in the rooms and then there's a hundred dollar cleaning fee if it needs to be treated due to smoking or vaping it says how lame what room is going to be needing to be treated for vaping that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. This place gets the thumbs down from me. This is what I think of your no vaping rule. What's well, off? It's always off. Ha. View from the skylight now that it's done here. Ooh, it's pretty. Um, why can't I open it? Uh, Oper. What? That's the east? I'm totally discombobulated then. I can't believe that's east. Oh wait, yeah I can. We're on the back side. Never mind. Yeah, it's weird. You can get up like that. There's our balcony. So pretty out here. All right. So good morning, guys. It's our first morning here, and we're gonna go look for somewhere to have breakfast. Unfortunately, there's no IHOP in the area. I checked. 
Uh, but we'll go wherever and then just want to explore the area today and see what's around and then at 7 o'clock tonight or around then we are going to go to the Silverwood theme park which in October is Scarywood. I'm sure some of you have heard of it and it's really cool. They like, do up the whole theme park Halloween and they have like hundreds of people dressed up in scary things. They have like five haunted like attractions um, where you like walk through I think maybe like haunted houses. I don't know. I've actually never been there. And then seven scare zones. So I don't know what that means but I'm pretty sure the scare zone is like they have like a corn maze. You know, and then people like are scaring you in the corn maze and shit. So I'm super excited for that. Also scared for that because I'm a big puss. But let me, I need to get ready for the day. I need to take a shower. Look at how I need to wash this mop on my head. Alright, I'll see you guys later.